Hi everybody. Welcome to Jenkins Boat Works. I am Chuck Jenkins. I am standing out in the front of the shop right now because the fumes in there are pretty healthy. Um, we got all the windows open and this door open and we got up to about 70 degrees today, Fahrenheit. And so that was a perfect opportunity to go ahead and get our two-part Epiphanes painting done. So we touched up inside the cabin and then got the, the floor or surrounding areas in the cockpit done. And it just looks great. So anxious for you to get to see some pictures of this. Really couldn't get any video while we were doing it. Got to wear a mask, a breather, and uh, the fumes are just terrible. So trying to work as fast as possible. I did use a roller and one of the rollers that I had, I had just bought at the hardware store and I'm using one of those little like four inch type rollers. Um, I forgot that two part Epiphanes paint eats those in short order. Um, at a point, the whole roll roller part came off of the spindle part. <laughs> Fortunately, I had a couple of rollers in the shop that are the actual Epiphanes um, high density foam. So anyway, we used that and got the rest of it done. So anyway, glad you're here. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing to the channel. All right, let's get in the boat and see if we can get some painting done. Gonna do a little update on our Pearson Ensign project. This morning we got another coat of varnish. These boards here are the um, door frame for the cabin. So like at the companionway. And uh, this is our board that's for the name plate, which is cleaned up and over there. We've got these boards over here that are the back boards attached to the back of the seats. Here's one of the seats here. Those are all finished and reassembled, ready to go. And then these mount on the back of the seat toward the hull and that, that curve actually lines up with the hull. We got a coat of epoxy on these this morning. We wanna make sure these are sealed up good. And we got some varnish on the rails here that are what separate those boards from the seats. So these dudes are about ready to go. And we've been in the boat sanding and getting ready to finish the combing and the floors. And there is our Pearson Ensign. That's a little sunflower. I climbed this ladder a bazillion times. So here is our combing, which has been sanded down ready for a finish. We've got some little trim pieces up here above uh, the entrance to the cabin. Those are cherry. It's the wood that I had. And so we got those fashioned, installed and sanded down. So those are ready for varnish. We have sanded the floor boards and vacuum those. And then our next thing for today is to paint the interior of the hull here. We're gonna go in and do a little touch up in the cabin. You might be able to tell there's a difference in color. The primer is absolutely white. Our finished paint is off white and we're using Epiphanes, a two part. So, we are getting close. We're gonna do some, we're gonna paint over the, the primer here and it'll be the same color as in the cabin there. Well, we pulled a board off of the back that goes up to the deck there. 
It's in kind of bad shape, but I think it's savable. We got some thickened epoxy stuck in the holes, the screw holes there. It was so loose that I couldn't unscrew the screws and ended up just pulling them out uh, with pliers. All right. Of course, we've got to put our facing boards on the bulkheads. We're going to cut out pieces of Okumi plywood and, and put on those. All right. We'll uh, take some more video after we get the paint in. All right, so we got that done. That looks really good. Sure do like the epiphanes. So we touched that up and then we came out here and did the cockpit area. Man, it's got a shine to it. I'm not going to stay in here very long. These fumes are still pretty bad. Nice. Well, we're about ready to put this thing back together. Get some finish on the combings. And uh, get those bulkhead pieces on. Put some finish on the floor. It's almost time to go sailing. If you like the video, remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.